Hi. Hi. Happy spring. Yay. My name is Bert, uh, short for Roberta, and I work for Zachariah Scaney Health Institute. Um, ZG's culinary artist and recipe writer. And we have Dr. Madge in the audience with us. We are a health and wellness company. Uh, we have a 10-week program that is a combination of lectures by Dr. Madge. So you have one lecture a week and then guided exercise three times a week by our awesome trainers. And then we have a nutrition team. And I'm part of the nutrition team along with six others. And thank you for being here today. It's a beautiful day. And we're going to focus on healthy small meals today. Uh, you know, we think of breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then we have those in between meals where we find ourselves snacking vending machine or something people have brought to work. And today we'd like to share with you some healthy ideas. But first, we're going to make this really killer, awesome peanut butter cookie. So, you know that peanut butter cookie at Christmas with the Hershey Kiss in the middle? This is a healthy version of that. There's no flour, no butter, and no sugar. And surprisingly, it really tastes just like that cookie. All right, maybe a little healthier, but it's really good, and I think you're going to like it. So, the ingredients are really uh, few, and it's a very easy recipe to make, so I'm going to show you how to do it today. I've just washed my hands. Um, and good one. Okay, so we're going to start with this food processor by Hamilton Beach. It's a local company. You can purchase it at Target for $55. And uh, it's a, a really convenient tool to have in your kitchen. We're going to start with chickpeas. Chickpeas are actually our flour replacement. So I have drained and rinsed these chickpeas. We're going to put those into the food processor. Next, we're going to add in some PB2, which is peanut butter powder. They've stripped out like 80% of the fat to reduce the calorie. However, it's good fats in peanut butter, so we do encourage you to eat peanut butter, fresh ground, natural peanut butter, or peanut butter with the oil um, in the top, and I'll get to that next. But this is a really great product. It's available in your local grocery store. You can buy it online in bulk. Um, if you really like it and there's all kinds of things you can do with it. You might add it to oatmeal uh, You might add water to it and make a peanut sauce for stir-fry in this case. We're going to add it into our cookie so We need a half a cup of this peanut butter powder It's also available in chocolate by the way So we're forming our flour here, if you will, between the chickpea and the peanut butter powder. And then we're going to have to add in some baking powder. I've got this recipe down. I make it a lot. My husband really likes it. So we need a, a tablespoon of, I need my glasses for this. You know what that's like, right? Okay, so we need a teaspoon of baking powder and we'll add that in there. Then next we're going to puree all of those ingredients together. And it's forming this flour. From there we're going to add in our regular peanut butter. So this is Crazy Richard's brand with the oil in the top, it's natural peanut butter. And all you want to do is shake it like a paint can to get that oil moving. And shake it up real good, and I had, have to admit I did shake it a little bit before I got here. <laughs> um, and then to get it moving, you take your, your spoon and kind of go like this up and down and really get it moving. I once had someone say, oh, I buy it and I just pour the oil out. Well, that's good stuff. You don't want to pour the oil out. It'll change the consistency. So keep the oil in there. Just stir it up really nice and you can see it's smooth peanut butter. This also is available on Chunky, if you like Chunky peanut butter. 
So in this case, we need a third cup. And this is a little trick. You can buy some spray olive oil and spray your cup first and it'll help release that peanut butter when you pour it out. And then we're just gonna add that to our mix. Might need a little help with the spoon. But for the most part, as you can see, most of it came out. And then from there, we're going to use honey. We're gonna use a quarter cup of raw honey. And that's really in place of sugar or a sugar substitute because we have to have a little sweet, right? Same thing, if you uh, spray this, it'll help release that honey from this, the uh, container. So a quarter cup of honey, and we're almost done with this recipe. Now, the darker the honey, the, the healthier the honey is. There's something out there called Manuka honey. It's like $30 for two cups, but it's worth it. And, you know, if you're adding some honey as a sweetener, you might only be using like a teaspoon, you know, just a little bit, enough to get a little sweet. So our honey's almost out. And I think that's it, aside from the chocolate chips, of course. Oh, we need some vanilla. So we're going to use, um, we're gonna use a tablespoon of vanilla. This I did not open before I got here. Troy. <laughs> See, I need to do some more strength training, I think. Thank you. Okay, so we're doing a tablespoon of vanilla. And then we're going to puree, and it's gonna look just like dough. Now, if you find that it's a little bit dry, you can add a little moisture in there, maybe a tablespoon of water, or even a little almond milk or skim milk. It's looking pretty good to me, though. And now uh, you add in a half a cup of chocolate chips. And these are special dark chocolate chips. They're tiny. Dark chocolate is an antioxidant, so it is good for us, of course, in moderation. And we're gonna add those in there. And then we're going to just pulse the food processor just to combine the chips into the dough. And it's almost there. So now Dr. Madge will tell you she doesn't eat beans, but when I brought her this cookie and I didn't tell her there was beans in it, she loved it. And then she was like, what's in it? And I said, you'll never guess. And she was really surprised. So here's what it looks like. Looks like chocolate chip cookie dough, right? Well, wait till you taste it. So I'm gonna put it in here and then we'll go ahead and make our cookies and we'll bake them in the oven 10 to 13 minutes. And after that, uh, while they're cooking, we'll go over this handout on healthy meals. And if you have any questions, feel free to chime in. We all like a good cookie, right? Well, you'll be happy to know that you can eat three of these and consider that a meal. One cookie is just shy of 70 calories and it has about three grams of protein which is really great for a cookie so I'm just gonna start with this now the dough is kind of sticky so if you wet your hands that really helps you roll this into little balls and then so you're gonna make these balls and then you're gonna kinda patty cake it and make these little cookie rounds that are maybe like two inches in diameter and you're gonna place them on a baking sheet uh, that's covered with parchment paper. I'm gonna make these a little smaller so that you can get a taste. It's 
cut this one in half. So does anybody have any questions so far? So now I've been playing around with this cookie, thinking, well, if you don't like peanut butter, what else can you do with it? So I actually added pumpkin to it, and then I added almond extract instead of vanilla, and it was delicious. It was really good. Um, it was very different. So we're just rolling along here. You could make them bigger or smaller, but based on the recipe card, um, it makes 24 cookies that are going to be just under the 70 calories. So if you make them smaller, it'll be less. If you make them bigger, it'll be more. So Zacharias Ganey is booth 410 and 412 if, if you want to come learn a little bit more about us. Um, we're very well known in the community. Um, we've really helped a lot of people change their lives and um, really make a big difference in how they feel, how much energy they have, um, great role model to children and friends and other family members. We have a very heartwarming community and um, you know if you or someone you know is looking to lose weight and change their lifestyle we would certainly recommend that you come by and see us because we'd like to help you do that so we have yes ma'am almond milk well um almond milk is a, a good milk replacement if you will um, it doesn't have a lot of protein though it's got like one gram of protein in a serving so um, veg a lot of vegetarians go for the almond milk what does it taste like gosh I use almond milk it doesn't really have that much flavor to me we although if you buy the vanilla always get the unsweetened because it's lower sugar uh, it has a little bit of vanilla taste to it personally I really like it I like it in my cereal when I eat cereal we don't really encourage cereal <laughs> we encourage steel cut oats though um, did that answer your question anybody else okay Pardon? When you substitute what? The pumpkin, yeah. You're asking me for the amount, right? Um, let right, and see the thing about baking is it's really a science because it needs to be the right amount of wet to dry ingredients. So uh, I think what I did was I added some ground almonds into it. If you take raw almonds and you grind them, they turn to flour. So I added a combination of that with the pumpkin. And pumpkin is moisture. There's more wetness to it than the peanut butter. So I played around with it a few times to get it right. Um, and I don't have a written card, but Certainly, if you're a baker, you could kind of figure it out from the card and have fun with it. So here's what the cookies look like. Everybody can see them? So I'm going to put them in the oven, and they'll go in the oven for 10 to 13 minutes. And they'll rise a little bit because of the baking powder. Um, and then here's what, let's see, Dr. Madge has what they look like at the end, but I'll show you. That's <laughs> okay. She's not sharing. So uh, let's go on to this, um, this handout. And I just want to talk about some of these things on here. Nuts are a great source of protein. They have a good amount of calories. Um, one ounce, uh, depending on the nut, in this case is almonds, is probably 180 to 200 calories. If you get up into like macadamia nuts and pine nuts and pecans, you're looking at upwards of 380, 400 
calories for an ounce. So the nuts that we really recommend right off the bat would be almonds and walnuts, pistachios, peanuts, and cashews. All nuts are good for us. They have those good polymonounsaturated fats. Um, so nuts are really a great source for that in-between meal, if you will. Um, just don't sit down with the whole bag or you're going to really consume a lot of calories quick. Um, fruit is a good source paired with a protein source. Um, four ounces is about the, the proper serving size and does anybody know what that looks like? A four ounce apple? It's pretty small. It's about like that. So, you know, we tend to think, oh, the bigger the better, and, you know, we go for the biggest banana, the biggest apple. I actually weighed an apple one time, it was a pound. That's huge. That's four servings. So, you know, keep in mind that the biggest isn't the best for one serving, one meal. So, so just pay attention to that. Um, peanut butter pairs really well with apples. Um, so does nut butters in general. Um, places like uh, Elwood Thompson, Whole Foods Fresh Market, some Kroger's carry a machine with fresh nuts and when you press the button it comes out like soft serve. It's great stuff. You'll never go back to the jar. It's the same price and it, it just tastes amazing. Um, the almond butter is a little bit more expensive and it has a richer flavor but I would urge you to try it. It's really good. So eat it by itself or pair it with some fruit. Um, yogurt is one of my favorite things. Um, take that Greek yogurt. Are you watching the time? <laughs> okay. No, the cookie time. Ten minutes. Thank you. Um, Greek yogurt. We, we recommend Greek yogurt over regular yogurt. Does anybody know why? The protein, right. It's twice the amount of protein as regular yogurt and uh, non-fat to cut back that saturated fat intake. Um, there's a lot you can do with Greek yogurt. So if you go with plain, season it. So if you want a little sweet, drizzle a little honey in there. Put some blueberries in there, pineapple, peaches. Pick a, a nice fruit to pair with it, strawberries, blueberries. Um, it also makes a nice dip if you would like to add garlic in it and green onions and dill and tarragon and make a dip for vegetables and so plain is natural it's really for me it's the best way to go when you start getting into vanilla and fruit in the bottom you're getting into artificial ingredients however if that's what fits your schedule and you like it it's perfectly fine so um, in this case we have av avocado mixed with it and avocados are good fats and it's a nice creamy nutty fruit if you will. Um, what else can we talk about? Beans. Beans are the magical food. We can live on beans. They have everything. They have carb, they have protein, and they have fiber. So you know if you go into the desert take a can of beans because you can live on beans. <laughs> I'm kidding. But seriously, beans are really a great source of nutrients and they have everything all in one package. Um, bell peppers are paired really nice with cottage cheese. You just kind of cut them into sections and fill the cottage cheese in it. That makes a nice, tasty in-between snack. So we have bell peppers in red, yellow, orange, and green. Does anyone know which one has the most nutrients? Red. What has the least? green and the price shows it right however there's not a whole lot of red choices when it comes to vegetables you want to be colorful when you're eating your vegetables and think about picking two or three colors that red bell pepper seems to come into a lot of different foods because of it makes your plate look nice it has wonderful nutrients and it tastes good so chocolate milk's on here um, Chocolate milk actually can be a good source, um, especially uh, when you're working out hard, gives you good energy. You want to think about pairing that with a protein source. Um, maybe it's skim milk with unsweetened cocoa powder added into it. Maybe you add a banana with that and create a protein shake with it. Um, there's a almond chocolate milk out there. 
but again the protein's a little bit low so maybe you want to add some of that plain Greek yogurt with it and make a shake and you could add some coffee and make a mocha or pair that banana with it um, chocolate milk you know it's it's it you who is not something we're recommending but there is a way to get chocolate and chew it and have it taste good but be be good for you also um, cottage cheese for those that aren't big fans of cottage cheese put it in a protein shake because once it's pureed you'll never know and it actually adds a uh, really nice creamy smoothie frothy texture to it just like a milkshake and cottage cheese is also a great protein source deli meat you know turkey ham uh, boar's head is a really good brand you can also get the low sodium you know rolling that up with some asparagus and red pepper or roll it with a lettuce leaf is a really quick snack meal um, you don't always have to have the bread um, certainly if you want to have the bread that's fine but we're talking you know quick slap it together and run you know on the run it's it's very easy to to eat and go you can also make that in advance if you'd like eggs are a wonderful thing so at the beginning of the week you might hard boil a dozen eggs and you could eat an egg just like it is or maybe you want to slice it up over a salad or add it into a wrap you could also take three of them and remove two yolks and then mash it all up and make some egg salad so having one yolk with those three eggs really you won't miss the other two yolks and by removing those you are eliminating some of the fat and cholesterol and saving that for you know something else maybe some cheese or maybe you want to have a burger you know save save that that saturated fat for another time um, what else do we have on here grilled chicken breast you know if you're you know you're going out to a party and you know you're going to be faced with all kinds of food and perhaps alcohol chickens a good thing to eat before you go fill up on a good protein source you're going to get full and then when you go out and start having some social activity you're going to find that you're a little bit full you know while when you're starting on the early front end of things so it's you know I always say make extra dinner because you can always eat it the next day whether you're adding it to your breakfast adding it to your lunch or just eating it real quick as an in-between meal chicken is definitely one of those things I'm gonna check the oven real quick yeah we're looking good something that's not on here that I've recently discovered is pumpkin seeds and roasted pumpkin seeds wow they're really good and a quarter cup is 10 grams of protein and 200 calories so it's like eating nuts they're really fantastic now that's a really quick meal I mean you take the bag and divvy them out into little snack bags and put them in your purse your pocket your car in your desk and you've got a handy meal you know really quickly any questions yes I'm sorry how to cook cheese with cottage cheese with no sodium yeah I've seen it with low sodium yeah there's a low sodium that I haven't seen no sodium though yeah but cottage cheese actually um, brought cottage cheese back up. Does anybody like lasagna or stuffed shells? Okay, so you can use zucchini and make ribbons with it. You can use that in place of noodles. And I know I'm getting off the subject here of quick meals, but leftovers are definitely a quick meal. And this is something that you can make a lot of. You can freeze it and you can certainly eat it the next day as uh, you know a quick meal but that zucchini ribbon that you make with a mandolin that mixture that you might roll up inside like a stuffed shell is made with the cottage cheese a low-fat ricotta um, I like to put some egg in there egg white garlic um, chopped uh, spinach and some parsley little pepper 
maybe even some red pepper flake and that makes a very nice mixture to use in a lasagna or use in those ribbons and then roll it up seam side down and then you bake it it's really good uh, let's see what else do we have we have zucchini roll-ups here the last thing on the list so that's something you can eat raw or you could actually bake it um, so if you think about the zucchini as the vegetable then what would the protein source be that you put inside it maybe it's tuna fish maybe it's egg salad maybe it's some salmon and cream cheese or maybe it is that stuffed shell any questions all right I think it's cookie time it is cookie time okay so here's what they look like when they're cooked they look like cookies right all right so we'll serve these up and I uh, might cut them in half make sure there's enough to go around um, and I hope you enjoy it. You know, getting back to this cookie, you know, baked goods is not something that we normally think of as a healthy food. Um, the fact that this has no flour, no butter, no sugar, and it's made with chickpeas, which is a, a bean. It's, you know, back to the beans. Beans have everything we need. Um, we've got, you know, good fats in the peanut butter and peanut butter powder. We're using honey as our sweetener, but it's a very limited amount. So we've got the baking powder and the vanilla in there. That's just part of the baking process. There's really not a lot of nutritional value to that. And aside from that, our chocolate chip. So three of these is going to come, if you call it 70 calories a piece, you're looking at around 200 calories for three and upwards to 10 grams of protein. So three of these is actually a meal. And you don't have to feel guilty that you're sitting down eating three cookies. So I hope you like them. Um, we'll go ahead and serve them up. And let's see, let's get something to cut them with. I'll just put them back on here. Yo. So, does anybody else have anything they want to add or or ask or share? The turkey jerky is actually store bought. Um, I've been writing recipes for Zachary Skaney for four year, almost four years now. And I put out a monthly recipe mailing, and typically they are healthy recipes incorporating protein and vegetables, because that's really where we want you to put your focus, rather, uh, rather than processed carbs and you know all the stuff in the center of the grocery store. We take people grocery shopping and teach you how to shop the perimeter of the grocery store. Um, so. All of the items that are listed on that sheet are things that we actually share with our members uh, to give them ideas on what to eat in between meals rather than snacking on something from a vending machine um, you know or something less than a healthy choice so does that answer your question okay what's that When it comes to um, drinks, um, you know, soda is definitely something you want to stay away from. And infusing water is really a really great way to go because you can take water and put fresh herbs and fruits and vegetables in there and surprisingly it's really good. Um, one of my favorites is just pineapple. So you take grandma's pitcher and you fill it a third of the way with the fruit and let it sit overnight and it actually infuses so you have pineapple water um, watermelon and rosemary is a really nice combination um, apples oranges and cinnamon 
So just mix and match with that and you'll be surprised what goodness comes out of it. And it's not like you're going to sit down and eat the whole pitcher. You know, you're going to, you know, have like an eight ounce glass in one sitting. So I'm working on getting these cookies ready for you. And uh, Dr. Madge, you want to add anything? Um, Come on up. First off, um, I'm so excited to see everybody out. Bert does a wonderful job for us. She teaches cooking. She teaches people how to cook, how to cook with vegetables. Um, but Zachary's Gaining, what we're all about is helping people truly develop a healthy lifestyle, both in the way you eat, the way you move, and the way you train that gets you off the road to type 2 diabetes, heart disease, different health issues. Um, and then also if weight is part of it to help people get to a healthy weight and maintain that. So we teach people how to get their metabolism straight, their body chemistry straight without any gimmicks. It's not easy, but it's nothing more empowering than feeling like you're back in control of your life and your health again. And that's really what we're all about. And I tell you, these cookies are kind of one of my favorite because they are a, a treat that are made with chickpeas and flourless again and um and she taught it? me that we teach everybody to eat beans and you know how we all have something we don't like thanks she sweetie said she wasn't supposed to tell y'all i've never been a bean eater even though i tell everyone <laughs> to eat it but when bert puts them in these recipes i can definitely find a way to do it and so um you know learning how to make this fit your life is what we're all about i do have some flyers on zacharias gainey that i'm going to pass out about our program if anybody's interested you don't you know for anyone interested thank y'all i'm good thank you so does anybody have any more questions you know america's gotten so supersized you go to a restaurant and you notice you, your food comes to your table and you've got this huge portion of food in front of you right i mean are you you get that right do you experience that you know it's it's unfortunate that some of the really good restaurants in Richmond haven't made it because their portions are small, but their food is phenomenal. You know, it's really about quality of food, not quantity. And you definitely want to feel satisfied after you eat your meals so that you're not snacking later. And that's really, you know, we teach you how, how to eat right and how to feel satisfied. So, you know, we we have a lot of people that come to us we have people that come to us that don't even need to lose weight they just want to know how to really be healthy and have a long life so we have people from all walks of life that that come to us do you like the cookie I can't wait to make it at home <laughs> my husband oh, will see. just don't eat the whole recipe you know, it really comes back to moderation. We, we need to know what a proper portion is. We need to know how to pair foods together properly so that we're getting in all our nutrients on a daily basis. And we need to move. We are meant to move. It's why we went to gym every day when we were in school. And, you know, we didn't, I'm really going to date myself, but I didn't have a computer growing up. I had a black and white TV. And when I came home from school, it was get your butt outside because when dinner's ready, we'll let you know. And if we tried to come in before that, it was you need to go back outside. And after dinner, we did our homework. And if we were all good, then we might have had a little bit of TV at the end. And we really need to get back to that. We need to get back to having family time, eating meals together. You know, everything is so go, go, go now. And, you know, everybody's working and we just really need to make time for ourselves and, you know, enjoy it while it's here because it certainly doesn't last forever and it goes by so fast. So, anyway, I hope that, um, you know, we've given you some information to take away today. Please come see us and thanks for being here.